YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we got South Park, Hummels, and Heroin. If you want to watch my reaction to the entire episode, the link to my Patreon is in the description below. Y'all ready for this one? Let's run it, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. Thanks, everyone, for helping us celebrate Marcus's birthday. As a special what birthday surprise Marcus? for you, Marcus, we got you your favorite entertainer. Everyone, please welcome Chuck E. Cheese. Hey, that's lit, bro. Okay, let's, let's do this. Never meant to cause you any <laughs> Bro, that was like a series of unfortunate events. You know what I mean? My man is vomited in his mask. Then from the mask, the vomit went down to his shirt, down to the ground. Maybe he slipped on the vomit or something, but he fell over the mic stand, onto the ground, into the vomit. You know what I mean? That was bad, but that's a terrible day at work. Another drug overdose? Most likely. Oh, is that Oxycontin what that was? Found wrapped in his cheesecloth. You guys know where all these illegal meds are coming from? Most likely from the prisons. Whenever there's a drug epidemic, you can usually trace it back to people who've been thrown away by society and forgotten about. Reminiscing about the good times I had, trying to relive all the good memories I had. No way, right? The sound and mix when they close the gates, wake up at six to eat nasty. <laughs> that was supposed to be a jailhouse tattoo. Bro, I'm not going to lie. The music was rather fitting. You know what I mean? To what the old people are experiencing there at the retirement home. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm here to visit my grandpa. Oh, how nice of you. All right, arms in the air. Oh my God. Play dice. Old time is going to teach you about life. Get religious. Start reading about Christ. Pray to God. Feels like I'm living in hell, but I'm stuck in a cell. Now, this is kind of lit, bro. I'm not going to lie, because it does have like a jail vibe to it. You know what I mean? Like the inmates chilling at the entrance of their cell. It's literally the same thing that the old people are doing. And I don't know if you caught if you caught the dude in the wife beater, right? Let me see if I can uh, if I can pull him up. Right there in the, in the gray wife beater with the with the blue pants and the I want to say either chancletas or sandals. I don't know what he's rocking on his feet, but he's giving me he's giving me fifty cent. 21 questions vibes. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, merry wanderer and happy traveler. These hummels suck. That's what the guy gave me. I'm just going to need you to deliver another one of Miss McGillicuddy's crochet pillows. You don't understand how it works in here. Miss McGillicuddy is top bitch. You do what she says or you pay the price. What you mean? Stop. Now what you gonna do? I'm sorry. I'll get better hammers. <laughs> Yo, what? She's walking around with two goons? That's crazy. Again? Dude, how many crappy crochet pillows do you have to give out for him? I don't know. It's what he wants. I feel bad for him, all right? I think he's miserable. He's old. He's supposed to be miserable. Look, I just gotta make this exchange for him, and then we can go. Oh, oh, I think this is her now. Swiper, no swiping? Stop Are you it. It's me, Swiper. This is it. Right into Christmas. Limited edition. Now give me the pillow. I have to get to a birthday party. Okay, fine. All right, peace. Today we are facing an epidemic of catastrophic proportions. I know I'm not alone in mourning the loss of one of our... Hold on. The way he said that sounded kind of smooth, bro. Like on some rappers. Catastrophic proportions. Catastrophic proportions. That was hard. Chuck E. was not the first entertainer in our community to die from this epidemic. Just recently, Swiper the Fox, dead of multiple opioids found inside his crochet oh, pillow. Sh How many more entertainers? Yo, Grandpa got the kids push, not the kids, but got Stan pushing weight. Unreal. Selfish as hell, too, bro. Grandpa, what the hell have you gotten me into? Shh, quiet. They'll hear you. There were drugs in the crochet pillow, weren't there? Do you know people are dying? What do you want me to do, Billy? You see Miss McGillicuddy over there? 
Whoever has the best homo collection is top bitch in this oh, place. Oh, she's an and she's got the best. She's ruthless. Oh, Ew. hello, Mr. <laughs> like that? Miss McGillicuddy, how are you feeling today? I'm doing very well. Have they given you Percocet for that knee of yours? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. So not only is she walking around ripping ass, right? She's walking around smelling like piss too. There's urine on the front of her gown. Oh, yeah, here, I, I just got it. Here you go. Oh, you'd almost think you were trying to keep them from me. Oh, oh she uh, punked them. My grandpa actually really needs those drugs. He's in a lot of pain. Ooh, and who's this little rascal? That's my grandson. He, he's worthless. Oh, sweet. <laughs> mm, coming to visit your old papa in the joint, huh? You watch your ass, Marsh, or I'll have you sent to the quiet room. Hold on, bro. This lady literally just punked Grandpa Marsh in front of Stan. And you saw what she did to the other old guy, right? She is a straight up. Have these put in the garbage. What did you find, Connor? Who is this? There is an epidemic in our community, sir. Some of us actually can't confront the problem. No, damn it, what did you find? Nothing out of the ordinary. The subject died of a simple overdose. We found nothing else except for two Hummels in the subject's rectal cavity. Hummels? In I'm sorry. What? Why were they in there in the first place? That's weird. We found Hummels in nearly all the birthday entertainers' anal cavities. It's very common in our fuck? overdose victims. Hmm, a bit too common, don't you think? Dude, did you give Butters a crochet pillow to drop off? Dude, I don't have a choice. I oh have no! To get the hummels for my grandpa. Well, you need to get hummels without making Butters a drug dealer. Drug dealer? <laughs> Yo, my man is just doing, doing a stand a favor out of the kindness of his heart. All to, to, to come and find out that he got him pushing away too, you feel me? And I'm sitting doing hard time, pissing in the metal bowl, eat from a lunch. Ah! Now nobody knows you by your name, you just another number, living under bitch ass rules of a broken game. They put me here to die and left me angry and alone. For the Damn, so she's really running bro. Like, she got everybody giving her drugs for her to sell them. That's wild. So where is Grandpa Marsh getting his stuff from? Is he getting it from her too? Like she got everybody pushing? Oh, he's buying shit for Grandpa. Cause she's only 85. Next bingo night, I'll pound that pussy black and blue. As long as I can get her before Thomas Grandpa do. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this soundtrack is crazy, bro. You gotta pay attention to it. Hey, we have this week's delivery of medications. Bring them in. Oh my god, that's a lot of meds, bro. Holy. Hello, Mr. Marsh. Oh, uh, hey, hey, Marcus. I understand you've become quite the Hummel collector lately. That, that's, uh... Come on, if you're a Hummel expert, then you should know its name. That, it's, it's whistling in the rain. Wrong. It's called Stormy Weather. Do you know where it was found? Not even close. No. It was found deep in the anus of one Chuck E. Cheese, the renowned entertainer beloved by millions. Hold on, bro. You're walking around with something that was in another man's what is wrong with you bro i don't care if you washed it bleached it put it in heat whatever the case may be bro the fact is that that was up somebody's ass and and now it's in your hands like you're literally holding it like this that is filthy as if you know something about the epidemic that is killing artists, then you better cough it up. Marcus, trust me. The epidemic that is killing artists. So is so is this episode like in reference to like all these rappers overdosing and Because this is around the same time that all of that was going down, right? Well, it's really great seeing you, Dad. Guess we ought to hit the road soon. 
You finally come to visit and leave after ten minutes? Oh, Jesus, <laughs> now we know where Stan gets his guilt trips from. Mmm, it seems somebody's been a little naughty lately. Oh, Miss McGillicuddy, how are you? Yeah, she's just ripping mm. out of his room, too. My, what a lovely Hummel collection you're starting to amass. Almost smells brand new, doesn't it? Like it was purchased right from the factory. All right, so she she's already aware that Stan is buying all of these for him, right? But is it supposed to smell like doodle -doo or something? Like... Is that why it's up everyone's, everyone that has overdosed, that's why it's up their butt? That part I don't get. Why they were finding these in everybody's butt. And who are these lovely people? Family that came to visit. Hold on, 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 bro. You mean to tell me there's no filter with all of these farts, bro? She's just walking around with her gown wide open, no underwear. Fart is going from butthole to nostrils, butthole to mouth. That's disgusting. I remember when I was a He's little He's grossed out, girl. ain't he? My brother used to play such tricks on me. Try to fool me. Try to get out from his responsibilities. I'm giving you hummels. What's it matter where they come from? Right. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me, but it matters to them. The big guys. You see, what they want is more people who are addicted to crochet pillows. Got it? Nice to meet you, fine folks. He's holding his nose. Dude, Stan, even if we wanted to help you, which we don't, there's no way we can sneak into an old folks' home, distract all the old people, and take an old lady's hummus. Oh, wait, there totally is a way you could do that. Cartman, if you have an idea, please tell me. I need you. I know how to distract old people. Oh. Hush. Yes? We're at Mimi Thompson's party. Peppa Pig just collapsed on stage. Oh, my God. Damn, it doesn't stop. Can I help you? Oh, yes, hello. We are adorable children here to entertain old people. Didn't think we had anyone scheduled tonight. Are you with the Protestant youth group? Yes, that's right. We are young prostitutes here to volunteer however we can. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> she said, she said, are y'all the young Protestants? What is it? Protestants, right? Which is a, a denomination of, a, of a Christianity. You know what I mean? But my man said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're the young prostitutes. <laughs> Cartman, bro. Damn. We hope you can enjoy some nice old people music. I'm insane in the membrane. Insane in the membrane. Oh, some insane Cypress Hill. In Crazy insane. Got no brain. In the membrane. That's kind of hard. In the cool, cool winter. Me. In the hot, hot summertime, me, my friend. You suck! Hey, hey! We're adorable children trying to bring sunshine into your lives. F you. F you. <laughs> if you want to call me baby. Yo, that's the same, uh, the same old guy that he put in, uh, in solitaire. You know what I mean? Ew. Damn, that's a nice, a nice display, bro. But the room smells like urine. You feel me? That's disgusting. Oh. Hello, Mr. Marsh. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was the old lady, bro. I was scared for him. It's not for me, Marcus. Look, I know you loved Chuck E. Cheese. I know you do anything to bring down the people who took him from you. That's why you have to go further, Marcus. Take it to the people who profited from Chucky's addiction. He was just a mouse <laughs> who wanted to make people happy. I come around. Hey, people are leaving. Where are you all going? Back to our rooms. You kids are absolutely awful. Damn. What the? Someone is in my room. 
I bet. What? I was about to say, bro. I thought they got caught in there. Surprise, Grandpa. I got what you needed. Mm. Hold on, but can't. So look. So I forgot the lady's name, but she's walking around with two goons. You already saw how how she is with everybody else, right? She punks everybody. Matter of fact, her and her, her and her two goons went into one dude's room, and I'm assuming they beat his ass. Can't they do the same here to get all her all her what are they called? Hummels? Can't she do that to get all the hummels back? You think she would, right? What are you doing, Grandpa? I told you, Billy. These hummels hold a special power with old people. Yeah. Alright, alright, alright. Hold on. How did she know that this is where all her hummels were at? Like, she just found out her shit got stolen and she went straight to Grandpa Marsh's room. You really thought stealing my hummels will make you the head bitch in this place? Yeah, I think it will. Oh! Go ahead, Grandpa Marsh! Ooh! God damn! And everybody's cheering it on. I, I think he uh I think he killed them. I think he did more than he had to do, bro. Not solitaire. I won't play it. You can't make me. Congratulations on becoming head bitch, Grandpa. Thank you. Head Billy. bitch is crazy. Now, if only we could take down the real douchebags who profit from all this. Nah, don't worry. I have a feeling that's about to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Marcus Preston. I have some questions. Oh, oh that's it. All right, so hopefully that rolls into the next episode and we see what he does. Because I have no idea what he's going to do to handle that. He's a kid in a room with a bunch of grown adults. Big Pharma at that. You feel me? But listen, man, I appreciate you pulling up and watching this video with me. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Go ahead and smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And join the family. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.